Here we are, the Museum of Childhood. And guess what? It's, it's, it's not a Tuesday, it's a Friday. Hello Tycoonites, this is Tycoonatron and welcome to another vlog. Today we are going to go into the Museum of Childhood because it is a Friday and it is actually open today where we came yesterday, uh, Tuesday and it was actually closed. So we're gonna go off into the Museum of Childhood, hopefully see some really, really interesting things. We'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get in there. Ah, oh, sweet BMX, dude. I'm gonna go over some jumps and I got my helmet. I got my helmet, it's got some pedals and stuff, and some wheels, it's gonna be great. Oh, sweet ray gun. And a spinning top. And her shirt is really low cut. No one puts baby in the crib. Actually, is there even a baby in there? Or is that a doll's head? I think that's a doll's head. Oh man, I want a pedal car like this. Or like this. Or like this. Or like that. Or like this. Wait. Does that mean, does this one fly? Just look at all this stuff. It's all these things. All these childhood things. Oh, Nesquik? That's, that doesn't seem that old. Oxo, Ed the Duck, some sort of rabbit, some sort of baby thing. And I'm extremely confused by this. The British Empire product made in Canada. Well, I suppose that does make sense. Colgate, a rubber ducky, some puppies. Oh, look, oh, someone ate all my food. Z is for zebra. T is for train. Medals are for medals. Ah, oh, sweet trike. That's actually really cool. Double seats, two seats. Who pedals? There's a person at the front. Oh, they both pedal. Oh, man, dual motor. This thing, shooting the moon for amusement only. I'm totally gonna put 10p in right now. I, pretty, I actually think it actually works. Project with assistance from the National Fund of Acquisitions. People with 10p in. Okay, hang on, I'll be back when I've got 10p. Okay, I got my 10p, let's go. You put it in here, right? You put it in here. No? Oh, there's 10p already in there. Oh well. Oh, there's 10p already in, I didn't have to do anything. Magic. I'm gonna do it again. No, oh, hang on, what? I'm... Oh, I get it, it's like a, oh, that's cool. And now it's down here again, I hit it again. Go for the moon. Yes, I got it. I win, and again. That is the coolest thing ever. I want one of these in my house. <laughs> so, okay, he's got another one. This is Sweeney Todd. I'm assuming this is nothing like the movie, but I got 10p, let's chuck it in. There we go. In the hole. What's gonna happen? <gasps> What's going on? Oh, they're moving inside. She just fell down. Something happened. Oh, you missed it. Oh, I missed the whole thing. <laughs> so sometimes, yeah, it needs more than one. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> oh no. And, oh, it must be a poltergeist. That's what poltergeists really look like. They come behind the door and go bleh, and then the furniture starts moving around. Meanwhile, the guy in the, reading the newspaper has, is none the wiser. No, he's a vampire. Oh, he's a vampire. Okay, he doesn't care that the poltergeists are there. Wow, check out this music machine piano thing. That's so cool. It's currently broken, which is a little bit of a shame, but it's got like drums and tambourines and triangles. Um, uh, accordions, but yeah, it's uh, I'm broken at the moment. I'm sorry. That's how pianos talk, by the way. These dogs are so realistic, especially this one. Well, maybe not that one. This one is definitely realistic. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, I could like pat him on the head. Uh, good doggy. That one looks a little bit mean. More pedal cars, more tricycles, more babies in prams. Another pram, I assume. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. So much bales of wheat with some horses. Oh, what? The horses have carriages. Horse carriages and carriage carriages. 
And now we're on the upper floor of the gallery. Apparently there's like three more of these. So much, so much. Just look at this rocking horse. Can I ride the rocking horse? No, I don't think I can. Although it doesn't say you can't. That's so cool. I want a rocking horse. Dollhouses, sweet typewriter um, with some sort of what is, what is that? Why is the typewriter? Oh, hang on, you don't press the... Oh, it's like a kid's typewriter. I get it. Because you, you turn the dial around and then you press the button to type the letter and then it types it. Those keys don't work. Sweet phone! Oh, you gotta... It's like the old control board where you have to put the people through to the right thing. That's so cool. And then sweet... It's a dirigible! Or is it? I think that's actually a spaceship. It looks like the Planet Express spaceship. Some guns, a cowboy outfit, look at that. The Arizona holster set, now available in cowboy fashion. That thing is cool, I don't even know what it is. Some sort of radar dish? Uh, Dan Dare, electronic. Yeah, don't know. That thing's cool, are they walkie talkies? Radio station, oh that's a radio station. I didn't know radio stations look like that. Oh man, there's so many cool toys in here. I want to be a kid again in the past. And this is looking out the window. I can't believe it looks like this outside in Edinburgh. Yep, definitely out the window. <laughs> Look at all these little miniatures. That's so cool. So many of the house at the back. Little farmstead. Now this is what I call a dollhouse. Actually, no, scrap that. This is what I call a dollhouse. Look at the size of that thing. I don't like, you know, I never played with dollhouses, strangely enough, but if I did, I want, wow, that person needs to clean up their apartment. That's really fancy, this one. Look, it's a butcher. It's a miniature butcher. Holy smokes. I wonder if he's got any smoked meat. It's like lungs and stomach and heart. You gotta make your own haggish. Wow, that is so cool. That is really cool. Hello, sir. I would like to purchase a big pie. Sorry, we're all out of big pies. But there's one right on the counter. That's my lunch. Get away from it. But, but I would like to purchase it. Get out of my shop, you fool. I have the chicken instead. I swear when I was a kid, I used to play with something like this. Oh no, he's rolled it. He rolled, he's crashed. He's crashed, quick, get the fire brigade in. Quick, jaws of life. Oh no, don't worry, we fixed him. Do a handbrake turn, it's a Ken Block. Jim Connor. All the puppets in the world couldn't keep me away from you. Except him. He's a Skeletor. Does he have, oh no, he looks like he's dislocated his shoulder to me. There is just so much stuff in this museum. If you're in an, oh, it's so true. Yeah. So you look, spinning around that way, but then you look through here and he's like, I'm fishing with a cat jumping over my head. What, the cat's going, hang on, I'm spinning it the wrong way. That way, there we go. See, look at that. It's real. There's a cat jumping over his head, but then if you look in here, it's just spinning around, fine. Also, it sounds like there's mice. It's controlled by mice. But, what I was saying, there is so much stuff in this toy museum. If you ever get, if you guys ever get a chance to come, look at train set. Oh, I'm getting distracted. I love train sets. This one's really cool. That's an awesome train set. I totally want that train set. I want all of it. I wish it was going. Is there a button? The what? The Hornby Old Page layout of the 1930s. Wow. It's awesome. Look at that. Oh, train sets are awesome. Anyway, like I was saying, <laughs> I keep getting distracted. More trains! Take, take a step back. Take a step back. Calm down. Don't get excited. I know I'm a child at heart. Yeah, if you guys are in Edinburgh and you get a chance to come to the Child Museum, you need to come to the Child Museum. This place is like the best place ever. Well, I mean, if you like toys. Look at that. I could just like keep recording the whole time. What are these? Like, tin soldiers and a train? 
some more trains and some more trains and some more trains and some more trains. That's a that's a big train. That's a big well, it's not a big train, it's a big toy train. It's not a really big well okay, no, that one's a big train. That is a big train. If you like toy trains, you need to come to Edinburgh Childhood Museum. Museum of Childhood. Because it has all the childhood goodness that you would ever want to see ever. Oh, oh this is a oh got a miniature airport. Look at that. How did the seaplane land on the runway? Hmm, problem. Oh, that person's getting shut down in the background. That's a really cool background. That parking lot is really full. Yeah, I wonder if they're all in the service station getting, I don't know, refreshments. How come those cars are fans? Those cars get like valet parking or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I thought out there was amazing until I came into here. This is all automaton stuff. Look, I don't know how this does. I don't know how this works. The bear pours water into the thing and then drinks it. And then there's no more water left. And the water's back in here and he pours it again. And he's drinking it. I, I don't... I don't comprehend. How is this thing doing this? Witchcraft. All you have to do is press this button. I don't know. Um, how, bear? How? Did you just spill some? <laughs> That's amazing. And then you got this bunny rabbit over here. It's clockwork. Watch. Look at him. Oh, he drops down. He's popped back out. He's like, hello, I'm a bunny rabbit. Oh, hello, I'm inside a lettuce. I'm gonna eat some of the lettuce over here. What's that? He jumps down. How cool is that? Mr. Peacock, how are you today? Oh yes, I noticed your plumage. Is that playing bird songs? How is... It's a, it's, a, it's a machine that's playing bird sounds. Then you put a pound in here. I don't have a pound on me at the moment, but uh, I'm assuming stuff happens in here. That is so cool. It's a balloon. I'm assuming the balloon goes along and does stuff. The windmill turns around and some people get drunk or something and fall down the hill. Then you got these things. Look, a swimmer. Press the button. And he's swimming. Well, no, hang on. He's swimming. This is, what is it called? How to swim number 17. This is how to swim, apparently. All you have to do is this, you just press a button. This is all made out of paper, by the way. This is all paper. It's like, I'm riding a bull inside my own head. And then you got this horse thing. You press the button on the horse. Look at that. This is all made out of paper. How is this magic? Oh, and then this thing, look at this thing. So this, you got levers here, right? And you press the levers and they adjust things. I've got to be careful because it says, it says, please be gentle. So I've got to be gentle. But if you look on the other side, you can just see through the window there. Over this way. Yeah, it moves everything. And you move the head up and down and turn it around. And be like, oh, hello, I'm Susan. I like spaghetti and a long potato. Check it out. It's an emu or an ostrich carriage. I don't know if it's an emu or an ostrich. It kind of looks more like an emu. I thought ostriches were black and white. Hello, madam. Yes, I'm taking my wife down to the park for a nice stroll along the riverside. These are all clockwork toys. So there's like there's heaps of different stuff in here. Little clockwork cars, little clockwork seals, little clockwork bugs, little clockwork Helicopters and snakes and mice and vacuum cleaning ladies. Is that actually clockwork? This little tiny car? It's tiny. Clockwork truck. And then these are all still all clockwork. There's that rabbit thing again. There's another one. Wow, Lego! Wait. Is it? Oh, no. I've broken it. I've broken the world. Better pick these up. Also, this is Duplo, not Lego. They lie to us. Let's put that back on there. There we go. Look, I made a blue and red ant. This is all like the building block section. It's got little building block houses, little building block people. Well, they're not building blocks. They're made out of cardboard though, so you can kind of put them together. Little trains, a little airplane, and uh, 
American Indian with some, I don't know, is that a plate of peas? That seems unusual. Some more building blocks. Look, <gasps> that's the stuff that we just knocked off the wall. Look, a giant Ferris wheel. Is that Meccano? I wonder if that's actually, probably, probably actually Meccano. Giant Ferris wheel. Look at those kids in there. How dare you play with my giant Ferris wheel. It's actually a Ferris wheel, not a merry-go-round. If anyone finds porcelain dolls scary, I suggest you look away now. Because this room is full of porcelain dolls. We love you. We love you. Come with us. Play with us. We like cheese. I'm a cherub. Or an angel or something. I got a trumpet. Come play with me. I'm just the moon. I'm perfectly normal. Don't trust anyone that's in here except for me. You could definitely trust me. I'm the moon. Everyone loves the man on the moon. Meow. I don't know what he's saying. Unfortunately, kids back in the old days didn't only have to play with toys. They also had to go to schools and do their ABCs. Suck it, little kid. I've already done that. Was that art for all? You're not learning your ABCs. You get back to learn your ABCs. Assuming this part of the museum is what childhood was like back in the days. All the little boys and girls used to go out and play on the streets and block all the traffic for all the people trying to get to the shops and everything and... Oh damn, it's closed today. Monday to Friday, 10 to 5. But, but it's 10.55. Oh, hello, little girl. How are you today? You don't seem to be very talkative. Also, what are you sitting on? I literally thought that that was a real person for two seconds. This is not a real person, I assume. You're not a real person, are you? Come play with that. Play with that. Yeah, kids forever, man. We're totally kids forever. This guy's, this guy's literally kids forever because they're a statue. How ironic. Is that ironic or is that just, I don't know. Also, this kid has really big feet. I mean, like, that's my foot, and that's that kid's foot. They're like the same size, and I'm a full-grown kid. Definitely. He also, he reminds me of someone. I'm not sure who. I'm assuming they're brothers. I'd say they almost look like they've got exactly the same faces. Actually, he's like, kids forever. Well, since the money box is the Museum of Childhood Play Bank, thank you for your donation, I'm gonna put the change that I have in my wallet, not that it's all that much, into the top of the piggy bank. There you go, Piggy. You can have all of my leftover change because this place is awesome. It's actually also free. So if you want to go here, it's 100% uh, free. Kids forever. Okay, so we just got out of the Museum of Childhood and it is amazing in there. There's so, so many cool things. I could have spent the whole day looking at the Museum of Childhood. It's actually absolutely amazing. You got like toys and automatron things and trains and little model toys and Ah, it's so good. And it's also, if, in case you're in Edinburgh, it's actually free as long as you come on a, obviously you only come on a, um, a Monday and a Sunday and a Thursday and a Friday. No, it's closed on Tuesday and Thursdays. So if you come on any other day, it's fine. But uh, yeah, really, really highly recommended. However, I'm going to leave that here. That's going to be the whole vlog for today. It's going to be the Museum of Childhood. Well, I, the Museum of Childhood. There's some actually quite creepy things in there too. So, well, you could probably find them creepy. But anyway, if you have liked this episode, then please do leave a like. If your feelings are more complicated than a thumbs up or a thumbs down, then please leave it in the comment section. If you want to see more stuff like this in the future and you're not yet subscribed, then please do go ahead and subscribe. But this has been Tycoon Drone, and have a good day!